little bit of, of drama there with the siren going off where while well, yours were kind of mid, mid, mid work there but it looked like they were pretty unfazed by it all yeah thankfully i you know i had both riders on the radio and i was able to to catch the the loose horse out of the side of my eye and saw it run off the track so on the on the radio i was able to tell luis and carlos to you know it's safe to go ahead and continue your work and gallop out so yeah but obviously not what you want to hear in the, in the middle of the final Kentucky Derby breeze, but uh, no harm, no foul. Todd, can you take us through the works, please? Um, Chargent, Pioneer, Medina went together. Uh, Chargent was on the inside. Like I had him uh, right 12 and a couple, 24. Uh, finished last quarter, 23 and one. Super good gallop out, 59 and three, 112 and change. And then uh, you know, at that point I told him, let's take the Take it down a notch and uh, ease up a little bit. That was a very impressive breeze from both horses. We were looking to do a little bit less with Mo Donegal. I had him a half and 48 and four. Nice steady gallop out. Look like he's moving well. Both works over the track I've been happy with. So, back on wood, good shape today. What goes into who goes with whom? Just, uh, you know, I mean, Charge It and Pioneer Medina have a little more time in between races. Um, so, I figured that they would do a little more, and, and Mo Donegal's the horse doesn't require a whole lot of training. He's coming back in four weeks off the wood, so we are just looking for a couple maintenance halves to keep him happy. There are a lot of well-regarded horses this year who are still pretty lightly raced. How much currency do you feel like a horse like Mo Donegal has? The fact that he, you know, he's had that season, he's had that, that, that whole experience, and he's been kind of showing who he is from his two-year-old season to now. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a sign of the times when you look at a horse like Mo Donegal who's had five starts and he's one of the, <laughs> considered to be one of the most one. seasoned horses in the race, but yeah. that's sort of, uh, you know, what we're looking at these days. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think his, what's important with him is not only, you know, the, the five starts, but the experience he's gotten in those starts. And as we saw in the wood, he's able to take a lot of dirt and sit inside and weave his way through some traffic, all things that, you know, would, would be important in any race, but particularly this one. With uh, the other side of the coin, do you, with chance, do you have to school him in the paddock a little bit more? Or do you have to do a little additional training? No, I mean, he, you know, his behavior has been very good. He's only had the three starts, but we've had no issues with the pad. We'll, we'll do the same paddock schooling with him that we'll do with everyone else. Are you fairly pioneer being 21st? Are you Pretty confident somebody's going to come out, or yeah, I mean, it it sounds like there's going to be, you know, Chad's going to opt to go to the Preakness, but uh, I suppose until he finalizes his decision, we don't know for sure. Could there be a defection? Yeah, you know, usually, but uh, not rooting against anyone. We'll just see what happens. We're in position. Horse is trained well. I think he's earned his way in. If he gets in, if not, we'll go a different direction. If, if, something wasn't announced, would you go the AE route? Uh, I'd have to think about that, yeah. consider it. How did, um, I said, you know, um, I've seen Nest work yesterday, everything good, good and third, so she was back on the track today. Yeah, came out of it really high energy, just took her out for an easy gallop this morning, she looked good, as did the other two fillies. And we've talked about, too, that Oaks field, that's shaping up to be, on paper, one of the best ones we've seen in here, and the fact that She's a name mentioned at the forefront of it. Obviously, speaks to her her ability. Yeah, I mean, she's uh, she's been terrific. Uh, thought her Ashland was very impressive, and uh, yeah, you're right. It looks like a very deep field. So uh, we're excited about uh, the way all three of our fillies are doing. And the Rimson and the Demoiselle has come back very formful. Just talk about that for a little bit with uh, Mo Mo Donegal and yeah. And I mean, Nets. I think uh, you know the. Two years in a row that you have a Demoiselle winner that uh, went on to win the Ashland. You know, Ness now has an opportunity to repeat what Malathat did last year. And uh, you know, so I think those races are important at a mile and an eighth at the end of uh, their two-year-old season. Kind of gives you a gives you a little window as to what they might be able to do down the road. You had said several, you know, one day this weekend was under consideration. Did the forecast for rain overnight play in? I mean, I, I was watching the forecast, I'm sure, like everyone else was, and the one thing that you could see was it would, every time you looked at it, it was a little bit different, but I felt like Thursday night that, that we were going to be okay to, to hold off until Saturday, and you know, that was the day that we wanted to go, so 
looked like if we did get some rain, it might have been at midnight, 1 a.m., which with the track seal was probably going to be okay. So I'm glad it worked out that we were able to go on the day we wanted to go. What kind of progress have you seen from charging from Florida Derby in terms of maturity or things of that nature? Yeah, I mean, I you know I think we've we've gotten three good works into them. Um, you know, so from just from a conditioning standpoint, that's important. But I think also the experience of working in company three more times and and he, he gained a lot of experience in the Florida Derby. It wasn't, uh, you know, you, you could argue that had he broken sharply and went to the lead and won wire to wire, that would have been terrific on that day, but it might not have given us the experience that we need for this coming Saturday. So, you know, he didn't get away cleanly, he got some dirt, he encountered some traffic, he was green down the lane. Hopefully those are all things that he he gained experience with, learned from, and improves for, for having uh, that type of race. Do you feel like there's more pace this year that can kind of open it up for some of these to come off it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it appears as though it could be an honest pace. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a lightning fast pace. 